Inspiring Norfolk is an educational project to celebrate living and learning in Norfolk. It's been really difficult during the pandemic for schools to enrich their curriculum as we would normally. We've not been able to go on trips. We've not been able to have visitors come into the school. And I know there are very many establishments and businesses in Norfolk who have had to close their doors to schools and families during this time as well. We have so many inspirational people and places in our beautiful county. I'm really pleased to support the project Inspiring Norfolk. Being Norfolk raised myself, I have some fantastic memories of growing up in this wonderful place. Inspiring Norfolk 2021 is such a brilliant idea. Many people don't realise that we're home here, the Norwich Research Park with 22,000 scientists and down the A11 corridor and in various science and business parks around the county, home to some amazing companies developing extraordinary new technologies. My name is Maria and I'm from Barcelona. I moved to Norwich this past September to start my PhD project at the Quadrant Institute, which is part of the Norwich Research Park. I'm studying bacteria, so all these tiny little uh, living organisms that are, can be everywhere. You can see them with your eyes, so you need to use a microscope. We've developed and will be putting into production at the end of the year the world's most powerful and quickest production car, the Lotus Avaya. It's powered by clean electricity. It can accelerate as quick as a Formula One car and has a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. The exciting bit that I'm going to talk to you about today is upcycling. And of course, we've become a lot more conscientious of what happens with our waste. Um, that's a really important factor of Millie really J's shoes, sustainability. After a few years, like three years earlier in, in Norwich, like, I feel like I never want to go back. When you head down to the coast, always choose a lifeguarded patrolled beach. And when you arrive, seek for the lifeguards and swim between the two red and yellow flags. I'll tell you a little bit about all the different careers. Now, when someone says, oh, you work in a zoo, they automatically think of one job. And I think all of you have probably thought of the same job as well. Without water, you have no civilization. But without decent quality water, we would never have an environment worth caring about and the connection between those two poles if you like is us as individuals. Only a few years after the start of the workhouse system well the numbers of people coming in dropped and the cost to the taxpayer went down. The main factors influencing what habitats can be found here at Bretts Wood is this stuff, soil. With changing sea levels and moving coastal sand the great estuary mouth narrowed and a wetland was formed. Woodland was cleared for building material and a huge medieval industry of digging peat for fuel emerged. Here in the classroom, we've been looking at the artwork of two artists, a photographer, Louise Dolan, who captures some absolutely stunning landscapes, and the work of Sarah Johnson, contemporary artist inspired by the Norfolk landscape. Five years later, the General Post Office move into Hardwick House and it's they who not only conveniently add their name to the existing crown motif but they also extend the building along King Street. Now in some other parts of the cathedral and there are other pictures on the wall and, and one of them is of a ship and again it's thought that possibly if somebody carved a picture of a ship in the wall that they were wanting to ask God's blessing upon their members of their family that were, were going to sea and praying for their safe return. Some really interesting things about the people that have been here before us. I work in a wonderful place called Holcombe Hall on the North Norfolk coast. Castle Acre Castle was built by a powerful Norman baron, William of Warren, one of the few people who we can prove crossed the channel with William the Conqueror in 1066 and fought alongside him at the Battle of Hastings. 